Thanks for joining me for this short demo on how to build a dashboard with Advisor. Let's get started. When you open the application, there's two options. You can build a new project or dashboard or open an existing one. In this case, we're going to build a new project. Click the icon, go to my task view, set of things I need to do. I need to load data, design pages, analyze data, and share results. Let's load some data. Advisor loads data from a series of databases or spreadsheets uh, into an in-memory pool. We can bring in multiple tables and link and join them as well. In this case, we can import from a text file, Microsoft Excel, Access, Salesforce.com, business objects, or a series of databases, which include SQL Server, Analysis Services, Oracle, Teradata, and other databases via ODBC. In this case, my data is in a spreadsheet. I select Excel, uh, scroll my desktop, I'm bringing a customer file. And in Excel, the data is in sheets and print ranges. We're going to bring in this sheet, which has the data. It's previewed. The column headers come in as labels. The data is in the rows. And I can see I have a stream of things that are, some of them are, 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 are text, like region. Some of them are numbers, such as uh, revenue and profit. We can edit them at this point and just take what it's uh, determined as default and move forward. 10,000 rows, 76 fields. The data is now in memory. And now we can start building a page. So the first page, I have a set of 15 visualization charts I can work with. I'm going to start by showing the data in a data sheet just to get a feel for it. So I'm going to select just some of the metrics here, probably go down to the bottom and grab customer ID, city. I just want to get a feel for what this data looks like. Industry, I'm going to grab region and revenue. And I'm going to spread it out, uh, rearrange it. I want to drag the customers to the left, bring the city over. Uh, region ought to come over. And I can see I've got sort of a hierarchy here. I might want to bring industry over, revenue, and sort by revenue. Looking at this data, I see I have about a dozen different industries. It looks like I've got a few, few regions. OK, now my job was to look at these customers spread by uh, revenue and margin. I want to get a feel for where my best customers are. So out of these charts, I know a scatter plot is a good chart to look at trade-offs in two dimensions. Again, I set it against the customer table. I want to make the X field be revenue. I want to spread these customers from left to right based on revenue, and, and vertically on the y-axis, I want to spread them based on margin. I can make this a bubble chart, or I can shape the, uh, the little dots by different things based on categories. Too much for 10,000 points to leave it alone. I'm going to now apply color. Set of color scales, I'm going to go with the default rainbow scale. I can make my own scales if I wanted, and so forth. I'm going to set the color to any of the dimensions here. I'm going to put it on region. Now I want to bring up a couple of other charts. I want to look at this data aggregated by region and also industry. A bar chart does that very well. So I select bar chart. Again, I've got to connect it to the data. I'm going to set this one to region. I'm going to make the measure be the sum average ratio, the sum of the revenue of all the customers in the region and display it horizontally. I'm going to do the same with industry. Bar chart, set it to industry, make the measure be the sum of the revenue of all of the customers in the industry, display horizontally. My page layout here is not very good, so let's do some rearranging. I want to drag this data sheet down under the scatter plot to give it more horizontal spread. I want to stick the two bar charts up on top on the left. So I just drag them around a little bit. Uh, maybe spread this down to give the uh, top graphs a little more room. And uh, obviously, I've got to arrange these bar charts a little bit better and slide this over. So now I have the start of a dashboard, and I can start analyzing this data. We've applied color consistently, so the red is the west everywhere. I quickly see that on the scatter plot, my red customers are off to the right, which is the high revenue customers are predominantly in the west. I also see at this top, very few high margin customers are in the west, so I have a skew. On the industry bar chart, the same thing. I start seeing I have more West customers in finance and insurance because there's more red and more in lodging and recreation. The charts also link for identification, so I can move the mouse over this customer on the right. And by the way, I can adjust the brush ups. Uh, but it shows uh, this customer is in the West on the bar chart and the transportation industry in the bar chart. And it came to the bottom of the data sheet. I see the specifics of this customer. Similarly, if I want to see this highest margin customer, I mouse over it. It's the South construction. And it's uh, this customer in New Orleans. So I quickly can start drilling in on this data. Now somebody might say, who are my highest margin customers? Well, I can sweep over them with the mouse and solve them. Uh, and I can quickly see the color comes off everything else. Maybe I want to drop down on just those customers and see where they are, heavily oriented towards construction. Now somebody might say, this is too complicated of a page. Let's make a simpler page for my management. So I go to the page, open a new page. 
On this page, maybe I just want a pie chart by region and a summary sheet, a report format tab. So I open up a pie chart, set this to region. Then I want to open up, I don't like 3D pie charts, so we'll keep it 2D. Also bring up a summary sheet. Put the summary sheet on region because that's what I'm primarily interested in. Then I want to show in the region the number of customers, maybe the average uh, margin of the customers, and maybe the total revenue of the customers. So these are now, and I'm going to sort this by revenue and shift it on a little bit. These are the, this is the same selection on the prior page. This is this top left quadrant, my highest margin customers. I see there's 67 of them. Um, you know, they kind of balance fairly evenly across uh, the industries, and the average margin sort of hovers around 30%. The West is a little weaker and so forth. Um, or I might want to and so forth. So that's the concept of visual discovery. I'm done with this dashboard. Let me return all the data to it. And now I want to publish this out to um, my, my, my team, uh, thin off a server, so I can um, find a server, give it a name, and publish this out. This will return a URL where I can then uh, embed this in a portal and give access to this to my team, which is maybe 50, 100, a few hundred people across my organization. Uh, they can't author. We only author and build dashboards in the client, but they can uh, interact with it with the full visual discovery, which you'll see in one of the other videos. Thank you very much for the time.